into 5 by IC and uh, now how to get applications using this particular IC is what we try to see. Uh, so there is a lab running in parallel to this particular subject. So few experiments related to the lab is what I try to discuss in this particular classes. Okay. So today is you no know, completely programming point of view only. Today what we do, we try to discuss the applications of uh, microprocessor. When you interface 8255 with the microprocessor and then getting applications out of it, like uh, seven segment display interfacing, keyboard interfacing and stepper motor interfacing, how do you do with the microprocessor and how you get applications using this is what we try to see in these particular classes. So that is what the objective. Applications of 8255 IC. 8255 is as we said, it is programmable peripheral interface IC. So then when we connect this particular IC to the external world, then how we are going to write programs to interface these things is what we try to see in these particular classes. So as we said, microprocessor is a general purpose device which can perform arithmetic, logical and control applications. Up to the last class we have seen the arithmetic applications means arithmetic and logical uh, logical uh, instructions and then applications of 8086 is what we have seen. How the microprocessor controls the other world or the outside devices is what we try to see in these particular classes. So now what we do is I'll try to check up in the first uh, half an hour how you interface seven segment display to 8086 so that you can do n number of projects using it. And then next half an hour I'll be uh, dealing with uh, how we can interface keyboard to microprocessor so that we can scan the key and then uh, which is a very widely applications like you know every mobile phone we have our keypad keypad you know when you press key then the key is getting detected and then how it is getting displayed is what you are seeing in every means in all of the systems so now that is the second application we try to take then the next application is stepper motor interfacing or motor interfacing means how the microprocessor controls the direction of motion of motor towards forward or reverse is what we try to see in this particular class. So these three applications in detail is what we try to take up us. Okay. So with that, now we will start up. So now let me share my uh, slides. Yeah. So I think most of you will be having these kind of uh, setup in your college. This is what I like mostly. Uh, here, this is an instrument kit, and few colleges may have electro systems kits too. But here you can uh, see, as in the figure. Uh, there are eight seven segment displays. So these eight seven segment displays, how they are connected, how they are interfaced to the microprocessor, so that you can display whatever you want to uh, display. Like you know, you can make an applications like ECE scrolling from left to right or right to left. You can do it. You can write your college name on this particular uh, seven segment display 
or here you have leds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so around these many ICs you have inter means you know connected. So you can make an applications like uh, you can make like you know you can display on seven segment display you cannot display a star symbol. So here but whereas by using LEDs you can uh, display the symbols whichever you want. You can display like a square you can display like a square here and then the square is becoming large 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 so diminishing square so the square is you know getting enlarged the square is uh, you know getting reduced so those kinds of applications you know which you can see in uh, most of the you know functions you know where it is you know the buildings and all they are decorated so those kinds of applications also you can implement by using this LED uh, interfacing to the microprocessor and here you have the keypad which is of uh, hex keypad 16 keys are there so this hex keypad you can interface to your microprocessor so you can take input the moment you press zero then you can make an application like this displaying your college name on the seven segment display the moment you a, 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 a om or swastik symbol on the led when you, when you press three then a stepper motor is rotating so all kinds of applications you can make out of this particular kit so then if you try to see in detail this is how it look like so then here you have one two three four five six seven eight so here you have 64 uh, LED, leds are connecting 16 hex keypads are connected and then uh, seven segment displays around eight seven segment displays are connected so now how to interface these particular external world where i want to display something or uh, if i want like you know input has to be input key has to be detected so these kinds of applications is what I want to uh, do. So a control application kind of thing. So then what we do is uh, we interface these particular uh, uh, external devices to the microprocessor through a IC called 8255, which we are uh, discussed in the last class, which is 8255 IC. It's a programmable peripheral interface. So how to control these kinds of things is what we try to see in this particular class. Right. So now let me start up with the programming part. So Yeah, so now let us start with, so here what we try to do is, the objective here is, this is what your microprocessor, so this is what your 8086 microprocessor, then here I have a 7 segment display, right, so I want to display 0 on this particular uh, seven segment display. So here one SSD seven segment display is given to me. So I have to display either a zero or one or two or three or four, whatever the number it is given to me, I have to display on this particular seven segment display. So now straight away, we cannot connect this seven segment display to the microprocessor. So then what we are trying to do is, we are connecting uh, this seven segment display through 8255. So 8086 is connected. The data which I want to display here on the seven segment display can be connected to D0 to D7 of our microprocessor to the data bus of 8255. And then here you have port A and here you have port B and here you have port C. 
So through ports only we can connect the external world to the microprocessor. That's what we discussed in the last class. So now how to make this connection is what we try to see uh, now. So the objective is this. I want to display a zero on this particular display. So then how do I do? So now let us try to see this, this as an applications of 8255. So we are going to discuss applications of 8255. So coming to the applications, 8255 can work in three modes. One is mode zero and another one is mode one and another mode is mode two. So mode one and mode two is what in detail you know, in, the, in the last class we have seen. So now here this is simply displaying zero on seven segment display. That means I am using my device SSD as an output device. So it is a simple IO application, simple output application. So simple IO application is mode zero. So then I have to configure my A255 in mode zero in mode zero is right so now how to do this now let us try to see and to interface this we have to know the complete hardware of hardware details of the seven segment displays so now let us try to see the seven segment display how it looks like so this is what the seven segment display so in the seven segment display we have uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, eight diodes. Okay, eight light emitting diodes are there. So eight pins will come out of it. And uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then this H is the decimal point. So then again, here you have two types of seven segment displays. That is one common anode and common cathode. In common anode, what we do is, here if you try to see, here if you try to see, in common anode, all anodes are connected together and the cathode terminal is left over. So these anodes are connected together and, and here this, can, this is connected to plus 5 volts. So now I want to display a 0 means here 0 means A should be on, B should be on, C should be on, D should be on, E should be on, F should be on, G should be off. That is 0, display on 7 segment. And the decimal point, anyhow, I'm not bothering about whether it is on or, or whether it is needed or not. So we will make it up. So if it is a common anode uh, type of uh, seven segment display, so then A should be on means we have to give here zero and B zero, C zero, D zero, and E zero, and F zero. That means when we connect this to ground, then this diode is on and that particular segment A is glowing, right? So then G should be off, G should be off and then D should be off. So here what we do is here we will connect 5 volts. So the moment we are going to connect one logic one which is a 5 volts, then these two diodes are off. When these two diodes are off, then this A, B, C, D, E, uh, A, B, C, D and E, F is the segments are glowing and then we will be getting, uh, we, uh, GO is getting displayed on the seven segment displays. So the code happened to be to display zero. So this should be zero, this should be zero, this should be zero, this should be zero. So this is, you know, if you can consider this is A, and then this is B, then this is C, and then this is D. They are 0, 0, and E, and F, and G, and H. 
so G and H should be one and one. So it is one and one. So now the equivalent code is now this is zero zero. H equivalent of this one is eight plus four twelve. Twelve equivalent one is C. So now here C zero is the code is what we need to write or uh, the equivalent seven segment code C zero on common anode type. If it is common cathode, all the cathodes are connected together, and then this cathode is generally connected to ground. When it is connected to ground, then if I want to display zero here, I should connect this A two plus five volts and B two plus five volts. So then C and then D and then E, then F, then H and decimal point should be zero zero so now the equivalent code is uh, here you have f this is equivalent of 1111 and then this is equivalent of 00 and then uh, this is 1 then this is uh, f And uh, this should be, you know, this is the code. You know, have, we have to give it to the common cathode. So the now, so that is what. So similarly, we have this is, you know, if you want to display a character, so then the character can be taken its ASCII equivalent one. So we should be very clear with the common seven segment display. Uh, seven segment uh, display um, codes. Right. So now here, if I want to display zero, then I can say like you know this is uh, this is CF. So this can be of this is can be of equivalent to uh, zero zero one one and then one 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 one. So then this is zero zero one one means this would be. Zero zero one one. So this is three F. So three F is the code I will have to write on a seven segment display. If it is a common cathode, if it is common anode, then we are going to give C zero. C zero. So this is E F G and the decimal point. So this is C zero is the command we are going to give. On common anode seven segment displays. Is it all right? Yeah. So now keeping in this mind, now we have how many seven segment displays are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seven segment displays are there. So now we are just dealing with. Only one seven segment display. So how to display zero on this particular seven segment display? So now let us try to see the hardware details of uh, this. So now here our objective is to our objective is to interface seven segment display. So then now the seven segment display now if you try to see so this is A then B C D E and F this is G and H so now there are like eight eight connections we need to give so A B C D E F G and H. So this no, this we need to so eight lines need to be connected, right? So these eight lines has to be connected to eight two five five. So then eight two five five has eight two five five has port A, port B, port C. So each port has how many lines? Eight lines. Each port has eight lines. So we need eight lines need to be connected, and similarly, now if you try to see here, now here if you try to see, 
here only one seven segment display is what we are uh, considering similarly how many are there one two three four five six seven eight seven segment displays are there so now i want to display zero on it then i want to display one on it two on it three on it so selection of one seven segment display has to be done at a time so this selection selecting one particular seven segment display is the hardware details are given like this so here now if you try to see one two so here you know let me take so here you have one two three four five six seven and eight so eight seven segment displays are there and the hardware details of this particular seven segment is clearly mentioned so here how many no this is common anode or common cathode because you know if we make our own then we can take our choice but this is what the hardware available so we want to display zero on this particular uh, seven segment display so now if you try to see here this is common anode it is common anode and then this common anode all together they are connected together and then this is connected to a pnp transistor and this pnp transistor this is connected to port c so here to connect a seven eight seven segment displays we need eight lines eight port lines and to connect uh, to select any one of the seven segment display we need eight port lines so in the given hardware you know it is you know configured as port c and this is configured as port a so total out of 8255 three ports port a and port c are completely dedicated for this seven segment display interfacing so now if you try to see here so this is port a pa0 pa1 pa2 and pa3 so the task is what so now the task is now the task is to display so the task is is to display zero on first seven segment display so now coming to the interface what we need so we need here this is what you know the block level of understanding this is uh, you can consider right it should be very good so here this is 8086 and this is 8255 so 8255 is connected to 8086 so 8086 consider this 8255 as an io device input output device so it has port a eight lines and it has port c eight lines so port a is connected to the seven segment display sport a is connected to uh so this 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 you know you can try to see uh port a is connected to cathode and port c is connected to anode through a pnp transistor 
for selection right so the connection is like this so this is a this is b and this is c and this is connected to so this all are a b c this is up to g and then this is h so this all anodes are connected together and it is connected to port c but this port c is not directly connected this is connected to one transistor so the transistor connection is like this so the transistor is uh, it is a pnp transistor and pnp transistor it is connected like this and then this is connected to vcc so this is uh, port c0 so this is pc0 similarly and this is connected to pa0 this is connected to pa1 and this is connected to pa2 so on up to the h is connected to pa7 so port a is connected to the seven segment display like this right so a b c d e f g h so all these things are this all cathode so this is a common anode and the common anode it is connected you know let me draw it very clearly because you know right doing programming part you have to be very careful so here you have one seven segment display here you have one seven segment display and then all the seven segment displays are connected they are commonly you know connected so this is connected to so this part is vcc and then this is pnp transistor this is pc0 so here this is what so then so this is a this is a this is b this is c and then this is g h now this is connected to port a so port a0 in detail this is pa0 pa1 and then this is connected to pa2 and then this is connected to pa7 so this is the cathodes are connected to port a and then the anodes are connected to so this is one seven segment display it is through port c0 similarly you have second third and so on up to you have eight seven segment displays so this diagram is there here you can see now so this is this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then each each is connected through so here you know this is what i am talking about this is zero and then this is pc1 and then this is pc2 pc3 pc4 pc5 pc6 and pc7 so this is port c total eight i o lines and then this is port a this is port a so this is pa0 so this is pa0 and this is pa1 this is pa2 this is pa3 this is pa4 pa5 pa6 and pa7 so the port a is connected to the cathodes and anodes are connected to port c through a line right so now the objective is to objective is 
to display zero on it so then the hardware details is what we know we know now now try to see now how pnp transistor works so now let us try to understand a npn switch first so this is npn switch it is connected to ground it is connected to vcc and it is connected to a resistor now if it in case of npn transistor or npn switch in case of npn switch if you give zero this junction is reverse biased this junction is reverse biased then when it is reverse biased the switch is open when the switch is open so this is open circuit kind of thing equivalent this is vcc and now if i try to see my output here then i'll get 5 volts that means when i give zero then i'll get one right and if it is one if i give one here the transistor it is you know it is in forward bias when it is forward bias the then this is forward bias and then this is you can say forward bias then forward bias and forward bias the switch is closed when the switch is closed the equivalent circuit is this when it is closed then if i try to see here v not i connect i will connect here means you no know, i get here zero i will get here one so this is what npn switch and now pnp switch is reverse here when it is one the switch is on and i am getting zero and when i am giving here zero the switch is off so pnp transistor it is reverse what is that if i give zero then it is on if i give one then it is off so then here the hardware which we discussed here the hardware which we discussed here so now this particular you know if if i want to connect here so this vcc has to be connected here means if i give zero then the switch is closed and vcc is connected here so then this particular segment is getting selected so this particular segment is getting selected so these are the hardware details so this is how i can select this vcc is connected to all our nodes and then based on what i want to display i can give it to pa0 pa1 and pa2 and so on up to pa7 so on up to pa7 okay so this is what the hardware is so now let us try to get the applications of 8255 in mode 0 So now let us try to see eight to five five applications in mode zero. So in mode zero means we have to write a control word. So that means here now if you try to see the algorithm. step number 1 in step number 1 what we need to do is configure or initialize so better you can call it as configure so configure 8 to 55 in mode 0 why in mode 0 mode 0 is what simple i o mode so i want to configure the 8 to 5 as an output port to the output second segment display is connected so that is what my first step so this i can do it through writing a control word in 8 to 55 all right yeah then the second step is second step is write a code uh write a seven segment display code seven segment display code <laughs> now what we can do the second step what we can do is we can take then uh, display zero on the first 
seventh segment. So then displaying zero on the first or seventh segment means select first seventh segment display through port C. And you can uh, make the all other uh, seven segment displays zero. Then next one is write or send. Send zero equivalent seven segment display code on port A. So port because port A is connected to all cathodes. This is the next step. Then the next step is stop. That's it. So this is what the algorithm. What is the algorithm? First we need to configure 8 to 5 5 in mode 0. That is in a simple I/O mode. Then select the first seven segment display means you no know, select the first seven segment display to port C. Then send zero equivalent code on the port A, and then stop. This is what the simple steps. So now here we are we are coming very clearly. So here you have 8086 processor and you have 8255 and port A is connected to 7 segment. Right. So then we have we have seen the 7 segment uh, equivalent one. So if it is common cathode, so then if it is common, sorry, common anode, then A, A should be 0, B should be 0, to display 0 on it. C should be 0. D should be 0. So now here if I try to write the equivalent code A, D, C, D, E, F, G and H. So A should be on and I have to give 0 on it. B 0, C 0, D 0. It is common anode. Then uh, E should be 0, F should be 0. This is 1 and then this is 1. So then the equivalent code is C0. Right? So to display 0 on the first 7 segment. So it is not specific to a board. You have to understand very clearly what exactly, how the hardware is. If you know the hardware, then only you can initialize and you can uh, you can control the devices. You can write a program the moment you know the hardware. Right, so hardware details we have seen. So your uh, 8255 is connected through port A and port C. And so this is what the port A uh, connection is very in detail. Right, and then this is what the algorithm is. Now let us try start writing program. So the first step is configure 8255 in mode 0. So 8255 in mode 0 is what we need to do. So then to do it, we have to know the 8255 control word is what we have discussed in the last class. So here, you see in very clear the first step can be done like this. So now now this is what the con control word of H255. So D7 has to be IO mode means this should be one. If it is 0, BSR mode. BSR means bit set reset. But we are not bothering about what exactly that. So we want a simple I.O. mode only. I.O. means man, I connected 7 segment display. So which I am configuring it as an output device. So output device means simple I.O. mode. And D6 and D5 mode selection. So mode selection of group A. Group A consists of port A and port C. So here, 0, 0 means mode 0. This is simple I.O. mode only. So when it is 0, 0 means it is mode 0. Mode 0 is 
सिंपल आई वो मोड सो पोर्ट ए हाउ आई एम कॉन्फ़िगरिंग पोर्ट ए एम कॉन्फ़िगरिंग इट एस आउटपुट पोर्ट एंड पोर्ट सी अपर हाउ आई एम कॉन्फ़िगरिंग आई एम कॉन्फ़िगरिंग इट एस आउटपुट पोर्ट इफ इट इज वन देन इनपुट पोर्ट एंड देन इफ इट इज जीरो देन दैट इज आउटपुट पोर्ट एंड डी टू इज फॉर मोर सेलेक्शन ऑफ ग्रुप बी सो ग्रुप बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ पोर्ट सी एंड देन पोर्ट बी सो पोर्ट सी आल्सो आई एम यूजिंग इट एस पोर्ट सी आल्सो आई एम यूजिंग इट एस एन आउटपुट पोर्ट एंड पोर्ट बी आई एम आई आई डोंट बोर्डर अबाउट व्हाट वेदर बिकॉज़ आई एम नॉट बोर्डरिंग अबाउट पोर्ट बी हियर दैट कैन बी डोंट केयर दैट कैन बी जीरो आर वन सो द कंट्रोल वर्ड व्हिच नीड टू बी रिटर्न इनटू द कंट्रोल रजिस्टर ऑफ द माइक्रो इन 8255 इज 8 Zero. So this is what the control word need to be written into the. So this is what the first step. Configuring eight two five five in mode zero, right? In mode zero. So this is what we. That is what the first step. So then, so this can be done through what? Writing a control word. Now let us uh, go forward. Yeah. So now this is what the first step. Now if you try to see the algorithm, so now the first step is configuring eight two five five in mode zero, and uh, so this is what the first step. Now let us take you know how to do programming of this first step. Give me one second. I I will be back. How to do this particular thing? So now here, coming to eight two five five. Has three ports: port A, port B, port C, and then control word. So microprocessor considers this each port as a different device with a different address. So. It is given. In, so here, if you try to see the 8255, 8086 board of Anshuman, here you have upper 8255 and low, lower 8255. So two 8255s are there to transfer 8 16-bit at a time. So lower he has given the addresses like this. 8002 is port B. 8004. Is port C eight zero zero six is what the control control register. This is what the address of control register. So what we we need to do the first step. So the first step is what configuring eight two five five in mode zero. So then configuring can be done by Writing a control word of eight zero in this, and as we discussed in the last class, each device can be each I/O device is accessed through an address. So here, sixteen bit address is what is given to a port. So now we can write into the port. So then the port addresses has to be. The port addresses has to be so move D X comma eight zero zero six. So then in this eight zero zero six is what 
this 8026 is control register control register right so then we have to write what is the con means uh, configuring 8255 in simple io so simple io can be done by what yeah. control word 80 so then move al comma 80 that means configuring this is what we need to do that can be done by you writing a control word so where we need to write this in control register so then use an instruction move dx comma l move dx comma l right so this is what the first step what is configuring configuration of 8255 in simple io mode so what we did we just have we just taken like control register whose address is 8006 you can you can take anything you know how it is configured is what we need to see so configuration a2 in mode 0 means you know here what we did so here we consider port control register address is 8006 and then that control register is to ds and then whatever you want to move or write into the port a or port b or port c that has to be moved into accumulator and then to the dx register so this is what the first step the next step is what select the first seven segment display through c so how many seven segment displays are there eight seven segment display where you want to display zero you want to display zero on the first seven segment display so first seven segment display means here now this is how it is connected the all anodes are connected here so now this is my pc0 so then here it is connected vcc so all anodes has to be connected to vcc so this selection can be done by making zero here that means uh, i have pc0 pc1 pc2 pc3 so on up to pc7 where, where i am interested in so i am to display zero on the first seven segment display so then this only has to be enabled that means if i give pc0 zero, zero then this transistor is on when this transistor is on this vcc is connected to our node so then then this is one this is one this is one and then pc4 pc5 pc6 p7 so then f e is what the command i need to write at port c so selection of particular seven segment display can be done through port c is whatever second step in algorithm so then then what we need to do is move dx comma 8004 is what the port addresses of port c and then what i want to move i want to move this fe which is what making pc0 only enabled all other seven segment displays are disabled so then move al comma fe then out dx comma al right so this fe is written so this is what step number two and then this is what step this is what step number one this is step number one in the algorithm this is step number two in the algorithm right then the step number three this is step number two then step number three is what display zero so display zero 
then displaying zero means here all cathodes are connected to port A. So this is A. And anyhow, this is connected to VCC now. So then this is B. And then this is C, like that. So I have to display zero. So then displaying zero equivalent is what? C zero is what we have seen. That means uh, we have to give here zero, zero, zero to display zero, A, B, and C, D. So C zero, D, X, comma, eight zero zero eight zero zero is the address for what port a this address can be anything you know you have to go through your manual to find out which address for port a and port b and port c and that control register okay so then what is the command to display zero so move a l comma c zero and out dx comma l this is three and then step number four stop so you can stop. so if you write this entire program now we entire this three steps in detail so these three instructions and these three instructions and uh, these three instructions and then that will be your total program to display zero on seven segment displays is it all right so here we have seen now here we have seen now this is what the board we are trying to discuss what was our objective our objective is to display zero on it so selection of this particular display can be done through the pc0 so pc0 we gave it zero so that it is connected to vcc and all the eight seven segments are connected to port a so then it will be getting displayed zero so now i want to little modify this particular program i want to display one then what should i do so then i simply change the code of some instead of c0 i'll write the equal and seven segment code of one then I want to display, so now I want to display 3 on this particular 4th 7 segment display. Then what you can do, instead of selection this PC0, so PC0, PC1, PC2, you have to give 1, 1, 1. Then here you have to give 0 and here all you have to give 1. So wherever you want to display, you can display on that particular values. So you can play with it now. You can display whatever you want, but only thing is, you know, being an electronic engineer, you have to know the hardware details first. And once you know the hardware details, how they are connected, you are writing program through software, you are controlling your hardware. That's what. So you have to know the hardware. And now this is connected to 8255. And then 8255 is connected to 8086. When the processor executes these instructions, then you can play with it. You know, you can write whatever you want. So then the hardware details are this. So this is how it is connected. So you have to understand. Then this is very clearly. And then you have to do hard this. So now my suggestion is you play with it make you know the seven segment display zero as a counter zero as a counter that means you have to display for zero one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e f so you can make you can make it as a counter too to count from zero to nine Right. So then you can you can do this particular task. Right. So then the next uh, this is what you can make a simple project on this. Right. Implementing counter application. So then one counter is nine. So then you can implement here one more counter like you know zero, one. So meanwhile it is it should be zero. So here zero. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10. So here 1, here 0. Then 1, 0, 1, 1. So then up to 99 you can make a counter. So then you can check it as a simple project. And then you can go ahead. But only thing is, a delay has to be introduced. How to write delay and all, I will be explaining you now. So then you can, this is one project you can go ahead. The another project which you can go ahead is, you can implement digital clock on it. So you can configure this as seconds, these two are minutes, these two are in hours. So a digital watch is what you can implement. These days if you try to take any programmable systems, like your cell phone, inbuilt clock, right? So digital clock, how it is. So you can implement digital clock in this. Clock in this. Okay, so you can try these kinds of things. All right, so a simple thing we have seen now, are applications of 8255, Okay, through more zero applications. So, so this is very simple. You should not afraid of it. Is it all right? This is understood. What we what we have seen now is this understood? Okay. So you have to make to your eight zero eight six. X keypad. So if you have uh, ASCII keyboard, then you can do it. But in very simple thing is, uh, we have everybody, every you know, lab we have uh, X keypad with us. So how to interface X keypad is what I'll try to explain now. All right. So now here, if you try to see, so is this clear? So I think you are following me. So now let us go ahead how to interface so now here how many keys are there how many keys are there 16 keys are there so this 16 keys the moment you press one particular key that should be detected so then how what we do now is so what we do now is nobody will tell us like you no know, which keys and all. So what we try to make this key we try to make it as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A computer, right? Hexadecimal, hexadecimal number system. So A, B, C, D, E, and F. So our objective is what? If 0th key is pressed means you have to display zero on this particular seven segment display, indicating that what? That is zero F key. Is it all right? Now, if the first key is pressed, so then somehow you have to indicate the first key, you know, the key one is pressed, key two is pressed, key three is pressed. So here, this is what we try to take up now. The zero F key is pressed means, zero should be you know getting displayed on the seven segment display or you can show somehow so how to do it now let us try to see so coming to the hex keypad interfacing the hex keypad is interface like so how many keys are there uh, total 16 keys are there to interface 16 keys, we need how many ports? You know, each key for interface to one. 16 port lines I need. But this can be reduced by using, you know, uh, two key 
is here you know two port pins and then uh, eight port pins so, so then you can here you know you can do it this by using instead of 16 so 8 plus 2 10 so other uh, six keys you can use for uh, any other applications so here you will arrange this into 2 cross 8 here you can you will arrange this to 2 cross 8 or you will arrange this to 4 cross 4 this is much better so this is 4 cross 4 is what now if you try to see 4 rows 4 columns right so 8 total 8 board lines are enough that's it so here total 10 board lines you need here in this configuration you need only 8 lines so that is your wish like you know if only hex keypad is what you are interfacing then you can use all 16 if no other applications you are going at or all other applications you have that means different things are there then you can you know you can use less number of pins too so here this is what the unshuman uh, board which you are having in your lab is having this kind of configuration then this is electro systems so electro systems board which is there in your lab it's a hex key pad it is connected like this so it is pb0 pb1 pb2 pb3 so port b is connected here and port a pa0 to pa3 is connected here so anything is all right you want me to explain anything that i can do it so now let's uh, let us you know uh, the objective here is what now i'll try to take if 0th key is pressed if 0th key is pressed then that key you know how to detect this particular key that 0th key is pressed or not how to detect it now let us try to write a program for this so my hardware details are like this without hardware we cannot go ahead so here pb0 and pb1 are connected to rows two rows and columns are connected to uh, like pc0 pc1 pc2 and r this is what the simple board is given to us now here if you try to see I can configure this as okay the board you know you can you can connect you know this is this is uh, how you know once I explained uh, using instrument board I think I can uh, take some other you know so that both colleges which are having different different boards it can be uh, covered so now now let me let me try to see you know this is also all right even go ahead so now here uh, this this key is pressed okay if this key is pressed then more in detail we can see either you can go ahead with this board or this board anything is all right so how the configuration based on that we have to try to see it now so this takes very less number of uh, instructions now so let us try to take this okay so now let me Take okay, this as an example, and then now let me try to write a program for this. Yeah. So now listen carefully. The hardware, how it is connected. See here. This is PB zero. Ah, this is PB zero. P 
pb1 pb2 pb3 and then this is pa0 and pa1 pa2 and pa3 right so here you know i, I this is my zero at key first key second key and all whether this zero at key is pressed or not now let us try to understand so here if this key if it is pressed then this part it is connected to pa0 so here if this key is not pressed then i get this pb0 here on this pb0 i see here this is connected to ground then if key is pressed this zero can be seen on pb0 so whether key is pressed or not can easily be known if key is not pressed if key is not pressed if key is pressed then i can get zero and if key is not pressed then if key is not pressed then i can get one here that means this is pa0 so then pa0 i can make it as a output port right i can make it as an output port i can connect here 5 volts i can connect here 5 volts so if i connect here 5 volts that means i can send here 5 volts so if i send here 5 volts right uh, you can do you know configuring this as input or output what you can do anything so here now if i try to see here 5 volts then what happens here I, here if i take one so then uh, if key is not if key is pressed then then if it is key is pressed or not so then it should be made you now we have to make input and output ports is what uh, has to be done so now if you try to take here as it is connected to ground so here it is connected to ground so if key is pressed then i can read a zero in that okay if key is not pressed okay if key is not pressed then the case is here so if i try to see yeah so now uh, here you know if i give one or five volts so five volts if key is pressed then if i connect here 5 volts then it can read okay it can read 5 volts and then if it is not if it is not then it can read zero so port a i try to make it as output port port b i try to make it as input port so this is what my first configuration is that means what port b i try to make it as input and port b i'll try to make it as output port so then i'll make it as output port then this is connected here yeah so this this part is connected here so if i read it i'll get ground or otherwise i'll get a particular voltage yeah so this is very very simple so here you know uh, this key you know it, you know here you know i can uh, yes i can make it zero so here you know we have to go ahead with the hardware you know so here hardware if you have 
zero here you know here if you, if you make it zero see I, I consider this as input and i consider this as an output so then if in the output what i do is i'll try to write here uh, one so when i try to write here one so then a particular voltage will be there so this voltage is connected here so if key is pressed then this voltage will be read if key is not pressed so then this is connected here so then ground will be there ground will be that means when key is not pressed i'll get zero and if key is pressed then i'll get one so this is how i can differentiate is this clear so then the other way if i do what happens the other way is what if i make this key as an output so that means i can connect here zero or i can connect here one so then if i try to see here then i can give it here one so when i give it here one then if key is not pressed yeah if i if, now let me see here i am making it port b as an output so then i am writing all ones and and if key is not pressed then this part is connected to port a0 if i read then i'll get ground and if it is pressed then this one is connected here and i'll get one yeah this is correct so now the algorithm is this yeah so algorithm task is to zero at key is pressed or not this is what we have to detect so then what i do is so here if you try to see see if i make this as an output and this as an input no change so what we have to do is we have to make port b as an output and port a has an input so in, in earlier case here if it is c1 if key is pressed i will get one if key is not pressed what i get so this is not so based on the hardware you have to go ahead so here it's very clear that if, if this you know i'll configure port b as an output and i'll give one here so if key is not pressed if i try to read pa0 then i'll get ground because it is connected to ground if it is pressed then i'll get here one because this one will be connected here so this voltage i will read so it is better so it you know it is suggested to me port b as an output and then port a as an input so now the algorithm so now the algorithm is yeah so hex key pad interfacing zero at key is pressed or not you have to start simple and then you can go ahead so now configure port b as output port and port a as input port 
by setting control register then step number 2 so this is what we know we are trying to write algorithm and this algorithm should convert as instructions then the second one is send once on port b and port b also we are using simply po0 to pb3 okay so pb4 pb5 and all we are not using then next step read port a then if key is not pressed then you will get zero here if key is pressed then you will get one here so then test p a 0 is 0 or 1 right simple logic notation can do this and if you get 0 then we can say key is not pressed if you get 1 then key is pressed right so then that you decide and then stop so this is what the algorithm is so now let us go ahead with writing code so writing code means again you have to see your control register so control register if you try to see yeah so this is what the control register yeah so now how you have to configure you have to configure this in simple io mode only mode zero application only so this is one and uh, this is zero mode zero simple mode only and port a as input so port a you are configuring it as input and port c anyhow we are not bothering about okay so this is how we can go and coming to d3 port c and here we are not bothering about so this is 0 0 sorry this is this should be 0 0 as in mode 0 and d4 is port a so port a i am configuring it as input port number 3 is done port a you know you read port a then this p is what need to be done so then what you can do here in al here in al you can have 0 0 0 0 0 0 so 0 8 key is pressed 0 8 key is pressed means you know if you get 0 then key is not pressed if it is 1 so then if it is 0 key is not pressed if it is 1 key is pressed so then what you can do you can do simple logical and operation so and al comma 0 1 is what you do so then when you do and al comma 0 then you can check the flag bit if 0 1 if it is there like you know 
if all zeros, zero flag if it is uh, set, means key is not pressed. Zero flag is set, then you can, then, then if it is you know not set, means key is pressed. That's what you can write. So it is simple, simple step number five. What you can do, then uh, and a l comma zero one, then jump on zero. So z zero jump on zero is what you can write. So if there is zero, right? So jump on zero, so then you can go somewhere else. Otherwise, you can you know jump on zero. Go ahead. In a head, what you are that means you know if it is zero means what key is not pressed. So then here what you can do. Right. So then you can go ahead with the next jump on zero. Then you can write here move b l comma zero zero. Then stop. Key is not pressed. If key is pressed, then you can write move b l comma zero 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 one. Otherwise, you can write here. Zero one. So if it is key is pressed or not. So this is what a simple condition you can write and you can check it out. So I'll try to uh, conclude what we have discussed today. So zero at key you can go ahead. Similarly you can go ahead with different different keys. So here how to you know get applications you know how to interface external devices. 28255 is what we discussed today's class so how to interface your sim simple output devices like seven segment displays how to interface keyboards to microprocessor through 8255 port is what we have discussed today right so then these are the simple applications and the next applications we will be seeing in the next class so this can build your own uh, kind of thing so this zero at key is pressed or not is what you can see now you can combine these two programs zero at key is pressed means display here zero so both you can clock is it all right so a real time you no know, microprocessor can control the uh, microprocessor can be used to uh, uh, control applications also like this so external devices can be connected to microprocessor through 8255 which is uh, programmable peripheral interface ic and this is what the applications of 8255 ic and this we do it through ports but when whereas in microcontrollers inbuilt pro ports are there okay so that is for today's class that's it thank you thank you very much